Hello everyone, welcome back to the Canadian Young Physicist Tournament's channel. This time, I am bringing you IYPT 2020 problem number 5, Sweet Mirage. I've seen your comments. The material for some of the problems are really quite hard to get. I'll make a video about those problems as soon as I figure it out. Problem number 5 tells us to shine a laser through a refractive index gradient. As you might expect, the laser will actually bend as a result of this gradient. Let me show you how I made this graded index. You will need a long transparent container, a laser pointer, and some sugar. All you have to do is put some sugar at the bottom of the container, and then top it up with water. After that, just wait for a few hours. Do not try to stir it, stirring it will just disturb the graded index. Cold water is fine. If you use hot water, you will begin to see some convections. This will also disturb the graded index. Just let the sugar naturally dissolve into the water. In my opinion, the laser light bending is really not the interesting part. I am interested in getting some understanding of this graded index. Let me draw your attention to another experiment. Here I prepared some plastic bowls, some food coloring, and a syringe. I added different amounts of sugar to each of the plastic bowls, then I added the same amount of water to each bowl. Then I stirred each solution until all the sugar was dissolved. I added the food coloring to each of the solutions. I slowly added the different solutions to a glass cup from the highest sugar concentration to the lowest sugar concentration. As you can see, the different solutions do not mix. They stack on top of each other in the order of concentration. In fact, when you dissolve sugar into water, the density of the solution increases depending on the amount of sugar you add. The different solutions arrange themselves based on their density. The highest density is at the bottom and the lowest density is at the top. When we added the solution using the syringe, we could observe the difference in refractive index. The lower density solution drops below its layer due to the exit velocity However, it is able to effectively float up to the layer that corresponds to its own density. Let us take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is. You might ask, this is colorful and all, but how does this relate to a graded index? This is discrete, but a graded index is continuous. Although you can't see a mirage using these layers, but it acts as an effective marker for a particular density. In order to predict the path of the laser beam, we need to know the refractive index as a function of depth. By using food coloring, we can make the solution of a precise density. Then we could just drop it into our graded index and wait for it to sink. The location that the coloring solution settles has the same density as the solution around it. In practice, the color solution will form a bit of a cloud. This is still some uncertainty with the depth. With some image processing and repeated trials, I think it is possible to create a map of the density and therefore the refractive index as a function of depth. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!